Hello, I'm Dr. Robert Barnett, a practicing urologist with the Urology Associates in Nashville, Tennessee. And today I'd like to talk to you about an established treatment for prostate cancer and selected small kidney cancers. Cryoablation has been used uh, effectively for many years. Initially developed in the 1960s, it was quite crude. In the late 1990s, new technology has allowed it to become a very effective treatment for prostate cancer as well as selected small kidney cancers. Cryoablation uh, is accomplished by placing uh, what are called cryoprobes or needles directly into the affected tissue, in the case of the prostate, through the skin and into the tissue, into the prostate itself, or into a kidney which can be directed either with CT guidance under a local anesthetic or laparoscopically at the time of surgery placing these needles in a, in a pattern that will create a freezing or tissue damage that's controlled and only destroys the tissue involved with the, with the cancer and a small amount of surrounding tissue. In the case of the prostate, the entire prostate can be treated or perhaps half the prostate if the tumor is only involved on one side. The, the procedure itself is uh, for the prostate is done um, as an outpatient or with one night hospitalization. In the case of uh, kidney cancers, the small tumors that are available that can be treated can oftentimes be treated as an outpatient or with a laparoscopic approach may need to be in the hospital two to three days. Recovery is quite uh, fast. There's no incision. Um, over time, the uh, de destroyed tissue is reabsorbed and the success rates with this are quite high. Cryotherapy is especially effective in the treatment of recurrent prostate cancer after radiation failure and in selected small kidney cancers. For more information about this, you can go to the website galilmedical.com or come to one of our offices for a consultation.